Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, as you know from the thumbnail that I'll be talking about this new gate paper that is introduced by IIC for next year gate that is gate 2024. And the gate new gate paper that is introduced is data science and artificial intelligence or in short DA. Now I was in USA uh, last week uh, when this news uh, came up. And since then, a lot of my subscribers and a lot of my, you know, LinkedIn uh, connections used to, you know, ping me and they are, they are calling me to make a video on this particular topic. Even in my uh, Telegram group also, people are talking that, sir, please make a video on this. Frankly speaking, you know, that time I was traveling to USA, so it's not possible for me to make a video. And, and the more important thing was that the syllabus was not out. So I was waiting for the syllabus to out because without, you know, seeing the syllabus, it's not that easy to talk about this particular paper now the syllabus is out last day and i have seen the syllabus and in this video i'm going to talk about the syllabus in detail and also i have seen one thing that people are talking about that with csit paper there are uh, five subjects that is common uh, with uh, this da paper it's not completely true the paper name uh, the, the subject name are common in both the paper but uh, what is being asked to cover in in DA paper is much more in depth compared to CSIT paper. So I'll be doing a in depth analysis of both the paper, and then I will give I will give an idea that what how much you have to study for this DA paper. So that in depth detail I'll be explaining in this video. Overall, it's a great move by IIC Bangalore to introduce such a new paper, and it 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 will help a lot of people uh, to you know in their career to become a data scientist. So yeah, in today's video, I'll be talking just about the syllabus of data DA paper and I'll be just comparing with a CSIT paper. But in upcoming videos, there will be quite a few videos that I'm making on this topic that, you know, what you can expect in the exam or, you know, how much you have to prepare, what should be your uh, study roadmap for this. So everything will be there uh, in my upcoming videos. So if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the bell icon so that when I upload a video, you'll get instant notification. With a further delay, let's get started into today's video. Yeah, so this is the two syllabus. Uh, in the left side, we have the syllabus for computer science and information technology or CSIT. And on the right hand side, we have uh, the syllabus for this new question paper that is data science and artificial intelligence or in short DA. Now, as you can see, uh, as I was saying before also that there are uh, total uh, seven uh, topics or seven subject is there in the syllabus for DA like probability and statistics, linear algebra, calculation and optimization, programming data structure, database management system and warehousing, machine learning and finally AI. Now among these uh, seven subject, uh, there are five subjects or five uh, topic that is common with computer science and IT. They are those are probability statistics, linear algebra, calculus optimization, programming data structure algorithm and database management system and warehousing. So this is, you know, people are thinking that there are five subjects that is common between CSIT and DA. But we will go into deep details of those subjects in, in both CSIT and uh, DA paper and see how much is actually common. So maybe the topics are common, but if you go into detail of it, you will see that there are, you know, a lot more is you know being offered or being asked in a in a da paper than a computer science and it so let's first talk about the probability and statistics part so let me zoom a bit uh, yeah so this is probability statistics here and here if you zoom so this is the probability statistics part here so here if you can see for computer science and information technology probability statistics just three lines they have written random variable uniform normal exponential poisson binomial distribution mean median mode standard deviation co-conditional probability and base theorem so basically the first chapter of the probability of any textbook of your undergraduate that is there and a basic idea about random variable and few of the standard random variables like uniform normal exponential poison binomial distribution needed and the formula of mean median mode and standard uh, deviation that's it and conditional probability you know first chapter of the undergraduate book it will come and base theorem also part of that but if you come to a DA test paper 
here you see the the depth of the subject because you know in 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 data science and artificial intelligence probability statistics plays a very important role so that's why in the syllabus of da a place a special care has been taken for this particular topic probability and statistics and the part i have highlighted here they are actually new so this counting permutation combination it is also there in 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 csit in the discrete math part probability axiom sample space event independent events mutual exclusive event marginal conditional uh, probability all of these things are part of first uh, chapter only but now comes joint probability so this is something that is new base theorem was there already in csit now conditional expectation variance here uh, in csit you have conditional probability but here you have conditional expectation and variant so that is new then mean median uh, standard deviation variance that is there now comes correlation covariance so see this is new then random variable discrete random variable probability mass function uniform bernoulli binomial continuous random variable probability distribution function uniform exponential poisson normal standard normal these are also you know the first part of the random variable but i still believe you know here it is written so detailed that discrete and continuous they have specified in a separate uh, you know term so that means you know you have to take special care of these uh, random variables also compared to csit now this last uh, you know two line t distribution chi square distribution cumulative distribution function cdf conditional pdf central limit theorem confidence interval g test g test t test chi square test all of these things are coming from advanced probability or you can say these are coming from a statistics part so that's why whoever will be preparing for data science and artificial intelligence paper they have to be very very careful from for this particular topic probability and statistics i mean there are seven a uh, topic you can expect at least 10 to 15 marks at least from the probability statistics that's my opinion now coming to the next subject that is linear algebra again first let's look into the computer science and it part here also you see just one line is written uh, for linear algebra matrices determinant system of linear equation eigen value eigen vector and uh, you know lu uh, lu decomposition here you see how much details they have mentioned here linear algebra is the second important thing if you are learning artificial intelligence and machine learning see how they are starting they have started here with matrix determinant here they have started with complete vector uh, vector space vector space subspace linear independence dependence of vector then there are a lot of important matrix are given like projection matrix orthogonal matrix idempotent matrix partition matrix all of these matrix are very important and their properties you need to remember i i i i guess from their property there will be few questions will be coming then this next part quadratic system system of linear equation system and, and solution that is also there in the computer system, uh, csit part then gaussian elimination eigen value eigen vector determinant rank nullity projection lu decomposition singular value decomposition everything is a advanced level linear algebra topic so i suggest you that you follow gilbert strang video end to end for linear algebra because now this whole thing is actually very well covered in, in uh, gilbert strang video and his book so i'll suggest you that you go through linear algebra in in great details if you want to do well in this particular paper that is data science and artificial intelligence next is calculus optimization again uh, if you look here uh, in the calculus they have uh, for csit they have just limit continuity differentiability maximum minimum mean value theorem integration here calculus part is almost similar that you know limit continuity differentiability uh, function of single variable mentioned but the extra part is this uh, optimization part uh, so like taylor series expansion that is a part of uh, optimization which is included here maxima minima is there it was there in csit also but optimization involving a single variable so a uh, one variable function will be given to you and you have to find out the maxima or minima or maybe some optimization framework uh, will be asked there so this is also something that is new uh, in 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 da, DA paper coming to the next part that is uh, programming data structure algorithm thankfully here uh, if you check uh, this section 4 and section 5 uh, from csit it's almost similar here uh, in in da paper also the only difference is here it's written 
programming in C. Uh, here it's written programming is Python. That means in DA paper, all the coding assignment or coding question that will be asked to you uh, will be in Python. So then you have to, you know, give them maybe the question will be similar, but yeah, they, they will be asking you questions, uh, the code from uh, written in the Python. Uh, and in the CSIT, as you know, it's been historically asked that all the coding question will be getting in C. So there is not much difference in programming data structure and algorithm part. Next, coming to the uh, database management system, uh, database management is almost similar in both the uh, part, uh, both the part, both the question paper. But the extra part is this warehousing part, and for that, this last few uh, you know words or few topics will be uh, coming from this warehousing that is uh, like this uh, discretization sampling compression data warehouse modeling schema for multi-dimensional data models concept hierarchies measures categorization and computation so all of these topics you have to study from some resources so i am not an expert of this so that's why i can't tell you any warehouse at this point maybe i'll do some survey and or and, and let you know in some uh, upcoming videos but yeah this is something that is extra in database management system that's it these five topics is common in csit now coming to the machine learning part machine learning part there are main two topic one is supervised learning and one is unsupervised learning so these are the main two paradigm of machine learning that is being asked here in supervised learning there will be regression classification problem in regression there will be simple linear regression multiple linear regression then there will be ridge regression then in classification you will have logistic regression k nearest neighbor naive based classifier uh, then there will be linear discriminant analysis support vector machine machine decision tree then from here it's kind of a modeling choice that bias various trade-off cross-validation uh, of methods and then cross-validation on k-fold cross-validation so these are all all the things that is related to how you will be choosing your model how you'll be training your model testing your model and finally multi-layer perceptron and fit for a neural network is a bit of advanced version uh, so that could be asked uh, in in this part now coming to unsupervised learning there are clustering algorithms like k-means k-method uh, medoid then hierarchical clustering top down bottom down uh, sing single linkage multiple linkage dimensional reduction and finally pca so all of these are actually covering all the topics that is coming in a classical machine learning course and this is something i don't know how much you know from your undergraduate days but this is you have to prepare very well i personally feel that from machine learning maybe 15 to 20 marks will be coming because this is a ai and machine learning or ai and data science uh, paper and finally ai uh, ai is kind of a uh, kind of a high level view of machine learning or uh, or data science so there are very very much searching uh, based question will be coming like informed uniformed uh, uninformed adversarial logic proposition predicate reasoning under uncertainty topics conditional independent representation so all of these things you will find there are many tutorial that is available on ai so you have to follow ai based tutorial for this particular part and you have to follow machine learning based uh, you know tutorial for machine learning part so this is the overall you know syllabus for data science and artificial intelligence or in short da and i have explained to you that what are the differences they are between csit part and the da part for those five topics which is kind of uh, you know common in both but as you can see for da paper they are in great details and they are asking you to cover all the topics that comes into that particular uh, topic so in csit they have just asked few topics from it because they have a lot of other subjects to ask you questions but as you are getting uh, question from data science artificial intelligence then these topics are very much important so that's why you have to cover them with great attention so yeah that's it about the whole syllabus and i hope by now you get to know what are the differences uh, among those topics which is common between csit paper and da paper in da paper these subjects like probability linear algebra optimization calculus database and program data structure everything is asked in so detail except pro uh, programming and data structure and algorithm all the other four subjects you have to study in detail because these four are 
particularly very important for intelligence system or machine learning or data science whatever you call it so that's why if you want to do well in this particular paper that is data science and ai you have to give much more focus on this topic uh, previously you know if you if you don't prepare these subjects well also there are other subjects in csit paper through which you can score well but in da paper these are the subjects that comes with highest priority these are the core subjects for ai and machine learning so that's why you have to do real really well in these subjects and you can expect at least 10 marks from each of these uh, you know subjects so that's why you have to prepare this very well to do well uh, in this particular paper so that's it about this video and as i said before in the upcoming videos there will be many uh, topics about around this paper i will be discussing so if you like this video hit the like button share this video to other people also so that many people get to know about it and also subscribe my channel if you are new to this particular channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload a new video you, you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye